Those of you who are long-term users of the Kensington range of trackballs will probably uh, know that um, before Windows came out, before Vista, when we had XP, Windows 98, um, we were able to easily program our trackballs so that the buttons, you know, would, that would perform various functions. Uh, when um, the 64 bits came out in uh, Windows Vista and then Windows 7, the uh, the software that came with these uh, trackballs wouldn't work. It wasn't the end of the world because um, Windows 7 and Vista have got functions built in that enable you to at least set your trackball up so you can use a drag function and that's what I've been doing for the last um, two or three years. Um, even though I'm using a trackball with four buttons, I only use the left hand button, uh, which is um, I click and then I just I, I, I hold it down for a couple of seconds and it's um, and then it, I, I, I've got a drag function. Um, but I just came across this. I was just looking on the Tra Kensington website and I noticed that they brought out some new software called Trackball Works. And it appears that um, they've listened to everyone because, you know, they 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 weren't producing software for the new systems, um, which was a bit of a pain, especially for those of us who who rely on these type of uh, trackballs. Anyway, um, this is called Trackball Works, and it's um, basically um, the same the same sort of thing as as what we used to get with these trackballs. So I thought I'd just briefly, very quickly, show you uh, what it's all about and how it works. It's, uh, I don't, you don't really need me to tell you, it's very self-explanatory. Um, so download the software, install it onto your uh, hard drive, and then um, when you open it up, this is what you'll see. You'll see a representation of your trackball, the optical trackball, and it'll have um, all, all the buttons, the four buttons around here. So um, the click one is here, that's greyed out. now. I'm assuming that that is default. That is default left, default click. I don't know because I've not really spent too long studying it. So I'm, I'm going to assume that um, that that is uh, default. It doesn't matter because um, I always use that as my click anyway. So I wouldn't change that even if I could. Uh, this one here at the moment I've got it set up on on right click. So um, I I press this button on here. And, I, and I've got a, a right-click function. Um, you can't see it on here. Um, anyway, let's say I want to change that to a drag function. All you do there is click on, click on that, and you, you, you click on, on the drag function like that. And then when you um, click OK, all you need to do is press that um, button down um, once, like so. Hang on a minute, I need to just save that. Sorry about that. Right, I'll just I'm gonna have to open up. I'll, get, I'll open that up again now. So I'll open up the program once again because I've just saved what I did. And it's, it's obviously uh, closed down. So we'll open that up again. Right now, when I when I hold down my bottom right hand button, you you'll see now that I can drag it like that. You see, and then what you do is you you just um click it click it once and then it um, and then it um lets it go the drag function is switched off so i've got the drag on that one um uh, at the moment we've got right click on the top left hand button because that's easier we can put it on there if we want as well so we just basically do that like that and let's say we let's say we don't want that to do anything we just um click no action um, so those are the four keys. You can put your drag function on any of these three, um, whichever is easier for you. Now the other thing I wanted to sh quickly show you is the pointer. Now you'll see that my uh, pointer moves pretty quick. You know you can have it um, go, going pretty pretty slow at the moment. I can't. Uh, actually, I can. Actually, I can. I'll apply. Now you'll see now. It's going really slow, far too slow for my liking. So I'll click, I'll, I'll go right up again, and I'll go and apply that. Oh dear, it's, it's horrible. Hate it. There we are. It's gone nice, nice and quick as well. Um, scrolling. This is basically the little uh, little ring that's around the ball. 
you can make that as go as quickly. I, I don't use it myself. I know a lot of people do, but you can do that. Make just apply that. I can't really um, demonstrate that um, on here. We go back to scroll. If you wanted the default settings, then just click on that. Um, shirt slow pointer. Yeah, that's keyboard functions. So if you want to um, use the keyboard to stay, so show stuff. Um, if you want your keyboard to be able to operate the mouse, then just select that. I don't want to do that. Single axle movement. I'm not entirely sure what that is, to be quite honest with you. Just have a mess around with it. I'll leave that undone. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm going to leave that as it is, because I'm quite happy with my mouse, with my um, pointer moving that quickly. So we'll go back there. So, basically, that, um, that is it. That is it, and it's absolutely fantastic. I'm, uh, I'm so chuffed that um, Kensington have listened to us, because I know that um, I, I wrote to them a long, long time ago and and said, you know, why can't you bring out some software? Because there's a lot of us, a lot of us who use trackballs, you know, and, and we rely on them, and you know, um, and it was a bit of a pain not being able to use all the functions. But now they brought this out, it's uh, absolutely fantastic. So there you go, trackball work. Trackball works. Uh, just go to the uh, Kensington website, uh, choose your operating system, and then download it. And it's as simple as that. It takes about five minutes, and then you'll have full function of your uh, Kensington trackball mouse again. Okay, I hope uh, I hope that's um, helped you there. Anyway, cheers for now.